of the galaxy. You don't know a lot about me, but before I met you guys, there was someone. She's gone now, but maybe with that relic I can make her ungone. I know you've got a lot on your mind, but that kid you fought, maybe he does too. Promise me in the future you'll use your words instead of your fists. I don't know what's gonna happen next time. I can't promise that. Well, try. For me. The Eternity Forge resides here, pending such time as it can be wielded responsibly. Until then, she shall remain entombed across the galaxy. Come find me, Peter. I'll be waiting for you. I got it, Mom. Thanks, baby. Another headache? Just a little one. Stop worrying. It's fine. Just took me by surprise. I'm not worried. You're super, Mom. <laughs> You'll be okay. Hmm. I guess that makes you Super Peter. Mom, Star-Lord. That's my superhero name. Sorry, Star-Lord. I better get that prescription before the pharmacy closes. Stay out of trouble till I get back, okay? Be good. I know that's not always easy for you. <laughs> no dice, Mom. You gotta love me for who I am. <laughs> oh, I do. Sometimes against my better judgment. I'll be back soon. Hey, Pete. Hey, Mr. Pinkle. Here to get that mixtape copied? Yeah. Sure is a nice thing to do for your mom. How's she doing, anyway? Just copy the tape, please. Will do. Both sides? Come back in about an hour, and it'll be ready. Hey, Petey! You make that mix for your boyfriend? <laughs> I made it for your mom. Watch it, or you'll be swallowing your own teeth. Afraid I'm gonna break it again? <laughs> you afraid I'm gonna hit you again? <laughs> Listen to you. Pretending you got balls! Hey! How's that lip doing? Give me that. What are you doing here anyway? You don't have money. Everyone in town's talking about it. Your mom can't even pay her medical bills. She's been going door to door asking for help like some pathetic loser. She's probably off looking for change in the sewers right now. Yeah, maybe she'll get lucky and find a quarter. Screw you! Aww. I heard Petey's little feelings. You gonna go cry to mommy? Have her change your diapers? 
Because your daddy definitely can't. You gonna cry now? Huh? What are you gonna do about it? Uh-oh. Hey! Hey, stop! I didn't mean what I said! I, I, I'm sorry! Peter! Please, please, stop! What did you do? Peter, answer me. This wasn't my fault. He started it. And you could have stopped it. Are you okay? I think he might have broken my jaw. We talked about this, Peter. I asked you to try not to fight. Look at this... <coughs> Look at this poor boy. <coughs> Mom! Uh -huh. <coughs> oh, God. I'll call an ambulance. You're so close, Peter. Gamora! Hey! <laughs> nah. Sorry, I didn't catch that. This, <laughs> this temple is really messing with my head. Again! Uh, what'd you say? Hello, Gamora! Oh, hey, come on. Come on what? what are you doing? You can do better than that. Back off, Gamora. Seriously. Stop it! Come on, this isn't fair! I don't have a sword! Nebula. You need to be aware of everything around you. Perception's just as important as strength and speed. None of them are important when I'm stuck here. I want to use what you've taught me somewhere outside of this room. I'm sick of just doing the same thing over and over, every single day. I know you think you want this. But once you've taken a life, there's no going back. Thanos will make you kill again and again, and pretty soon that's all you'll be. A murderer. At least I'd be something. <laughs> Looks like you've lost your touch. <laughs> Hardly. A little impressive. <laughs> Just a little. I can't. The more you're hurting me. 
Father! Nebula, you have grown so much. Father... You may yet be the greatest assassin in the galaxy. Don't you agree, Gamora? <laughs> She only won because she cheated. She blindsided me. If you had a blindside, the fault is yours. I have a mission for you. You will go to a Kree outpost on the planet of Phalion. There you will find General Tarval. He has come into possession of something I require. A device. Gamora, you will fetch the device for me. You, Nebula. You will kill the General. Thank you, Father. I, I promise you, I will succeed. I know you will, daughter. Gamora. You were always my favorite. But you have become cold, distant, forcing me to look to Nebula to tighten the slack. I work better alone. I always have. Nebula doesn't need to be a part of this. From what I witnessed, you could benefit from Nebula's assistance. I can no longer trust you on your own. Go and prepare. You will head out immediately. And Gamora, I know you no longer care. But if you fail, your sister will pay for your missteps. Tell Nebula I wish to speak with her. Is everything all right? What's going on? I couldn't hear you, but Father... He didn't look happy. I can't stand this place anymore. I can't stand him anymore. Nebula! Come here! This is it. My chance to prove myself. Or fail miserably. <sighs> you can't screw this up, Nebula. If you do... I know what happens if I do. I'm not going to let Father down. Let's just do this. Nebula! <laughs> <laughs> 
Nebula! Nebula, are you all right? Are you hurt? Why? Why did you do that? What? I had him. That was my kill and you took it from me! The father will be so upset with me. Tarval was about to kill you, Nebula. I just saved your life. I know you want to impress Thanos, but trust me, he is not worth dying over. Father. Give me the device. Nebula, what are you doing? You took my kill. Give me the device in exchange. Give it to me, now! I'm not asking here. Do it! No, that's not how this works. I don't take orders from you. Then you leave me no choice. What are you- You slapped me! I was trying to snap you out of it before you killed me! Well, that's not the way to do it. Well, apparently it was! Stop! Stop slapping me! Stop it! Okay, 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 uncle, uncle! Don't do that again. I don't know what happened. One minute you and I were walking into the temple, and the next yeah, I was... Yeah, I, uh, I know. Wait, were you... Did you see all that? My memory? Are you okay? I never wanted to think of that time in my life again. I've really been trying to let Nebula go. But seeing that... She thought I was being selfish. Taking away everything she worked so hard to achieve. That's why she turned on me. And why she'll never forgive what I did. She tried to kill you. There is no excuse for that. Look, if anyone deserves to hold a grudge, it's you. That's not how Nebula sees it. That last moment, it became everything. All I remembered of her. But there were times we were happy. Despite Thanos, despite everything, we had each other. Maybe, maybe I could have done more. Been more honest with how I was feeling. Stop just seeing her as someone I needed to protect. Gamora, she didn't want your help. She wanted to prove herself on her own, even if it meant hurting you. I know, but... Nebula is who she is because of me. That hatred coldness, her inability to trust anyone. She is Thanos' daughter. Who else could she be after I betrayed her? I failed her. I'm worried about you. You keep thinking stuff like this, it's gonna drive you crazy. And we've already got enough crazy on this team. This is true. Thanks, Peter. Now, come on. Let's figure out why the Forge brought us here before things get even more... ...weird. 
Oh, man. My mom loved this song. She played that record non-stop. Peter, wait. This place... It seems to be using our memories against us. We don't know what we'll find inside. Or why it's been drawing us here. Don't worry, okay? I can handle whatever happens. I promise. I've heard that before. Oh, come on. That time I died? That totally doesn't count. Lead on then, but carefully. Do you recognize this place? Yeah. This is where my mom... Uh, this is where I saw her last. I don't know what all this means, Peter. But I hope somehow you get your mom back. Only one way to find out. called Mantis. Not your mom, right? Definitely not. You... You came for me. After all these... Ooh, what are these? They're very shiny. Hey, over here. Ah, Peter Quill. You're really here. It's been... Centuries? No. Millennia. The name's Star-Lord, baby. Oh, I see. Star-Lord, baby. <laughs> no, no, it's just, it's... Star-Lord. Legendary outlaw. Why does this never work? Thank you. 
May I borrow that? <clears throat> You're gone. It will only be for a moment. Yeah. That's not gonna happen. <sighs> Very well, then. Didn't see that coming. <sighs> it is so wonderful to be free of that tomb. No longer trapped in my own mind. Alone. You are truly the hero the legends foretold. So brave and handsome. Though perhaps not in the classical sense. What? <laughs> You must have many questions for me. Take your time. So these, uh, legends about me, what are they? I mean, I know a few already, but, uh, this one might be new. You don't know? Oh, how unexpected! I have been waiting for you all this time. The moment you touch the forge, I knew you were the Celestial One, that you could free me. So I reached out to you the only way I could, through your memories. The ones most vivid to you. But you must understand, I had no control over them. I... Oh no, that is not what I wanted at all. I am so sorry. I truly did not know you'd feel so violated. I'd hoped you would feel glad to see her again. I did not mean for my abilities to hurt you. Though you are offended. How could you possibly know how he feels? I can show you, angry lady. Oh, no. Never mind. May I show you? Please, I mean no harm. Watch. Star Lord Baby is filled with worry about you. Why does he carry so much concern over your suffering? Hey, stop. Okay, what's inside me is for me and me alone to stress out about, okay? Oh no, he's getting flustered. Did I say the wrong thing? It's been a long time since I've communicated with anyone. And people can be so complicated. I'm not, I'm not flustered. <laughs> What? You're totally flustered. No, no, I'm... I'm... non-flustered is what I am. He is guarding his emotions. He's afraid you'll see him as weak. I do. You see, I am an empath. I can read the emotions of others. It is my duty to help the Celestial One decide the fate of the Forge. Sounds important. <laughs> and introducing her to the others might be... <laughs> really fun. Who should we try on first? I got just the one. Uh, something's supposed to be happening here? This furry little creature is unfathomably sad. Hey! Now he is scared and angry. Hey, cut it out! What is this, Quill? What's the bug lady doing to me? Mantis is an empath, Rocket. She can sense your emotions. She's also the one who made us relive our memories. That was you? We went halfway across the galaxy, got chased by that psycho holla for a party trip? It is my job to guide the Celestial One. What the hell does that mean? The Celestial One? You messed with our minds. Why? I am Groot. She thinks I'm someone called the Celestial One. How about that? Celestial what? Why is there only one? And could that one also be me? Oh, I can explain. 
long ago. Wait, he... wait, wait. Are you going to spew some long mumbo jumbo about where you come from and why I should care? Yes. Is that a problem? Remember Thanos? Going on like, now that I got this, I'm going to roll through the galaxy like a giant turd and blah, blah, blah. The answer is magic. It's always magic. And that is good enough for me. Skip to the good stuff. Oh, I have not spoken to anyone in so long. I was hoping someone would chop, want to chop. listen. You heard the man. Get to the goods. There is a legend of the Celestial One. The Chosen One who shall arrive from the stars to use the Eternity Forge. This Celestial One. What are they like? Advanced intellect. Emotionally mature. Wise being capable of navigating the dark waters of immense power. Someone who can see beyond his own selfish desires to choose for the greater good. That's... <laughs> that describes me pretty perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> hey, come on, guys. Hey, knock it off. <laughs> it is not funny. Peter is the Celestial One. Oh, you're so full of crap, lady. If Pete is this Celestial What's-It, then why didn't the stupid forge work? Sure, it brought him back. But when we tried to use it again on someone else, it didn't do a damn thing. Your loss. I can feel it has been with you for some time. The forge is limited right now. It can only restore life to a body that is mostly whole and undeteriorated. <sighs> I am Groot. Well, that sucks. Who is sucking what? No, he means that is unfortunate. It does not have to suck. What do we got to do? The Celestial One must deliver the forge to the sacred shrine. There you can unlock its true power or destroy it forever. And that true power is what? Returning anyone from any time period back to the realm of the living. Lost ones, loved ones, I suppose hated ones too, if you were so inclined, though I do not know why. That seems ill-advised. Well, let's unlock this thing. You should know, this power comes with a price. <sighs> Saw that coming. Life energy cannot be made. It must be transferred. So someone still has to die for the thing to work. Then let's finish our drinks and go use this thing. Yes! Really? Who are you planning to kill? Well, you're kind of annoying me right Paula now. Paula wants to use this forge to raise her army. We have to destroy Not it. Not until my family is returned I to me. I am Groot. Right? Groot says he's on my side. That's three to one, Gamora. We win. That is not true. Groot feels the opposite. Uh, I mean, maybe something got lost in translation. Hey, hey, you try understanding I am Groot all the time. Those three words can mean anything. You mistranslated Groot. On purpose. How long have you been doing this? I just slipped up. <laughs> this was a one-time thing. I am Groot? Okay, a two-time thing. So, it is a tie then. Two for using it. I am Groot. I'm gonna take a guess. He said two for destroying it. Don't you get what this means? We can bring back anyone that we lost. At a cost. No cost is too high. Right now, I'm leaning towards using it. At a boy. <sighs> Look, we can undo things that never should have happened. Thank you, Peter. Well, one way or another, this all ends at the Shrine. Can you take us there, Mantis? I have never been, but with your help, I believe I can sense its location. May we have some space to concentrate? Gladly. If anyone needs me, I'll be emotionally unavailable. And that's new. Ha ha ha. What are you doing? Helping? Hmm. Maybe it is best if you sit still. Right, of course. <sighs> I cannot sense the shrine. There is so much unrest among your crew. 
their emotions are overwhelming me. They look to you for guidance. Help them. Hey there, Groot. Oh. Is that a friend of yours? I am Groot. I'll tell you this. We're all gonna be okay. No matter what happens with the Forge. I am Groot. Hey, bud. What's up? Hey, Pete. I gotta say, you kind of let me down when, when you didn't want to come with me to Half World. But you use that forge to our advantage? All's forgiven. Would have taken someone really idiotic to want to destroy the thing. But wait, wait, you were serious about using it, right? You weren't just pulling my leg. I mean, I mean that would, that would be one sick joke. I am Groot. Actually, I think I might have changed my mind. What? Oh, I can't believe how selfish you're being! Oh, wait, wait, never mind. I can, because I've been by your side for way too freaking long. I am Groot. You know what, Pete? I wish the Forge had never brought you back. Yeah. I am Groot. It should have brought someone else. Anyone else back instead. I am Groot. You're right. You're right. I deserve that. I'm sorry, Pete. Come on. Come on. Ha have a drink with me. Alcohol cleans all sorts of wounds. Whether your friend stabs you in the back, literally or metaphorically. That's what I'm talking about. Hey, P. You know, you know what you, you know what you. Well, that's one way to deal with emotions. I am brute. Calm. Drax, how are you doing? I am hopeful. The Forge can bring my family back, if you choose to use it. Well, I... So I must trust you would not take away my chance to reunite with my wife and daughter, even though you did not behave in a trustworthy manner. Huh? You used that antenna woman's powers without permission. It was wrong of you to do that. Rocket was clearly angered by what that woman said about his emotions. Come on, it wasn't that bad, was it? Our feelings are our own. They belong to us alone. Oh, come on. You're all a bunch of spoil sports. What Mantis did is freaking awesome. You guys need to lighten up. Losing weight would not have changed anyone's feelings. Her ability to see into our emotions, it must be difficult. I would not wish to know the pain of others, as well as my own. Thank you for checking in on me, Peter. You may leave now. Fine. Fine! 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 Hey, are you okay? What the hell was that? I tried to say everything I could think of. I thought maybe if I asked her to stick around for a while... Ugh, she won't hear it. Not from me. She'll barely even look at me. That's just who she is now. You need to accept that. I know. It was stupid to even talk to her. Nebula and I... There's no fixing that. We're better off apart. She can get on with her life, and I can get on with mine. 
I think you're right. She shouldn't stay with us. Let her go somewhere else. Anywhere else. As long as it's far from me. I'm done with her. Um, hey, Nebula. Yeah, uh, hey, it's me, <laughs> Peter Quill, <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> yeah, but you know that. You mind if I sit? Cool, yeah, this is, uh, this is really, how's the arm? Ah! That's for not letting me fight the Kree. Well, you were pretty awful to us, too. I have every right to be awful to you. And especially to Gamora. Speaking of my dear sister, bet you got an earful. What'd she say about me? That I'm a waste of space. That I deserve everything I've been through. She says you're really pissing her off. Well, the feeling's mutual. I bet she forgot to mention how she ruined our family. How she destroyed my life. Yeah, well, that's not how it looked to me. What do you mean? When we were in the temple, I saw Gamora's memory of your last mission. Oh, yeah? What did you see? I saw you stab her and leave her to die. You have no idea what really happened that day. And neither does Gamora. Not all of it, at least. Then show me. Now, please take my hand. If this kills me, I'm going to kick your ass. Is everything all right? What's going on? I can't stand this place anymore. I can't stand him anymore. Nebula, come here. Nebula, my favorite daughter. Father. Your attacks against your sister were swift, precise. You disarmed Gamora easily. I was impressed. It was easy. I barely broke a sweat. It may have been easy for you, Nebula, but it was not easy. There is something you must know about Gamora. She has informed me that she does not want you around anymore. That she works better alone. Every day she grows more agitated and bitter as she watches you surpass her. You've seen her lack of respect. She disobeys me time and time again. I no longer trust her. You shouldn't trust her either, Nebula. Gamora has become a risk to our family. I'll keep an eye on her from now on. Good. That is all I ask. If she continues to be a problem, you might take her place. Stand by my side, as my greatest warrior, and only daughter. Gamora makes herself more useless, more unreliable with each passing day. Where she fails, you thrive. It would be an honor, Father. We shall see how things go on Phalion. This is your moment. Go and prepare. Keep your communications open. I'll be monitoring the situation.
Nebula! Nebula, are you all right? Are you hurt? Why? Why did you do that? What? I had him. That was my kill and you took it from me! Tarval was about to kill you, Nebula. I just saved your life. I know you want to impress Thanos, but trust me, he is not worth dying over. Nebula. Father. If you want to gain the honor you desire, kill Gamora. <gasps> if you don't get rid of her, I will do it myself. Only I will ensure that your sister suffers greatly. Give me the device. Nebula, what are you doing? You took my kill. Give me the device in exchange. Give it to me, now! I'm not asking here. No, that's not how this works. I don't take orders from you. Then you leave me no choice. What are you- None of your business, Gamora. It is my business, Peter. I was trying to show him what really happened with Tarval. But of course, you interrupted us. This is between you and me. Like you haven't been telling him your side of the story. He came to me because he was sick of hearing about Whoa. it from you. She was always pushing against Thanos, testing his limits. What happened was her fault. Yeah. I practically shoved that knife into my own back. Too bad I had such terrible aim. Some assassin. Gamora, you are. I wasn't trying to kill you. Oh, yeah? Then what were you doing? Because it looked exactly like you were trying to kill me. She wanted to be Thanos' only daughter. She wanted to take your place by his side. She should be grateful. She never wanted what he gave her. I saved your life. Admit it. You just wanted to prove you were better than me. By killing if I wanted to kill you, you'd be dead! Thanos was going to kill you himself. There would have been nothing left of you. Do you know? I even checked your pulse, just to make sure you were still alive. You never got to see that part. The most important part. But I did. That doesn't make any sense. Yeah, that's totally crazy. You expect us to believe that you stabbed your sister so she could live. Stop. I'm done with this. Peter's right. I want you out of my life! For good. Well, at least we're on the same page about that. Good! Good! I can't believe you just said you wanted me out of your life! You agreed with me! I did, but I wouldn't have said it! You made it very, very clear! Even if you haven't spoken the actual Oh yeah, words. you're really good at reading between the lines, especially when it comes to me. Well, I have to fill in the blanks, don't I? We've been a little out of touch since you killed me! Yeah, so I'm thinking we really need to part ways, Nebula. It's been... <laughs> fun. Not really. At all. Where are you gonna go? <laughs> Nova Corps is gonna be all over you the minute you leave. I've got some ideas. Peter, I can finally sense the shrine. Okay, let's go. to make you angry.
and also so sad. You are a very nostalgic person. <laughs> Hey, hey, whoa, what's the matter? What? Why are you crying? Why am I crying? Oh, God. The little box brings you so much sorrow. Oh, God. I'm sorry for that. Sometimes emotions overwhelm me and reflect back onto others. Yeah, that's cool. <clears throat> I'm cool. I'm cool. Okay. Everyone on this ship is so poisoned by their feelings, overly focused on the past, not living here, in the now, experiencing all the wonderful things around you. But if we use the Forge, there are a few things about our past we can change. That does not necessarily mean you should. You must have realized this by now, but... If you bring someone back, it can never be as it was. Thank you for letting me listen to your music. It made me feel better and worse at the same time. I loved it. Hey, Mantis, can you direct me to that magic shrine thing now? Of course, but it is a long way and I must concentrate completely. There can be no, there can be no distraction. I didn't know it would do that. <laughs> oh, you have made an awe-inspiring mess. Distractions. I'll see what I can do.
the entrance to the shrine. It. Yay! Another temple! <sighs> the Kree were not only skilled warriors. You can find great symbolism in much of their architecture. Yeah, yeah, they like pretty things. We get it. Now what, Pete? Mantis? Any pointers? It appears the forge goes there. On the altar. Seriously? Well, that was anticlimactic. around. See if you can find anything that looks off. Mm, I am Groot. Of course something's wrong, because we're in a freaking Creed temple, where everything is always more complicated than it needs to be. I mean, ain't they ever heard of an on switch? Anything? The forge led me here, but has grown quiet. How do you know I'll make the right choice about the Forge? I do not know that. Oh. You are the wielder of the Eternity Forge. It chose you. You must trust there's a reason. Yeah, okay. No pressure at all. So, what now? Repair the statues. Determine the fate of the universe. Oh, is that all? to seal the fate of the Eternity Forge. Yes. Your decision will leave you despised by much of the team. Good pep talk. Thanks, Drax. No matter what you choose. Yep, you can stop now. No matter what I decide about the Eternity Forge, you've got my back, right? I am Groot. Is that a yes? Or a no? I am Groot. How you holding up, buddy? I am Groot. Yeah, well, don't get your hopes up. He could still do the right thing and decide not to destroy the most useful artifact in the universe.
There we go. <laughs> no, you were saying? Hey, Rocket. Tell Groot I need some help with the lens thingy. Okay, okay. I am Groot. Yeah, good job, buddy. That forge is gonna be resurrected in no time. I am Groot. He says he wants me to be happy, but that this isn't about me. Is that really what he said? One more to go. Something tells me it's not gonna be easy. How are you holding up, Groot? I am Groot! I don't know. Hey, is that some kind of joke? Huh? Oh, cuz, right. He's holding up the thing. That's. No, it wasn't a pun. He's just an idiot. Once we get all these statues working, are you ready for whatever happens next? That depends on you, Pete. You know how much bringing Lila back means to me. And only you can make that happen. How's it going, Gamora? In a few minutes, we're gonna have to decide the fate of the Eternity Forge. Not we. You. For whatever reason, this is all in your hands. Look, I know you haven't really sided with me or taken any of my advice lately, but... The Forge is dangerous. You have to make sure no one can use it. Ever. Okay, let's see. This big guy used to stand here, holding up that giant whatever it is thingy. Then things go bad. Age sets in. Oh no, I dropped it! Ah! So where did it go?
What now, Celestial One? Stupid jet boots overheated. Drax, I need your muscles. You cannot have them. They are attached to me. No, I know they... Uh, I need your help. I've got to lift something very heavy. Ah, I see. You are weak. I will help you. I am ready. <laughs> to death ain't on my list of to-dos, Pete. I'm sure if you just reach really hard, you, you could get it. Maybe dislocated your shoulder or something? I cannot fail. We'll never be able to use the forge if we don't get that lens. Right. On it. When I get smushed, I better be first in line for some resurrection! Never make me do that again. I had to crawl on all fours. It's degrading. But there is still no statue upon which to set it. You're welcome. We did not thank you. Ingrates. Interesting. No, it's not. They're just ingrates. Yep. I got this. Oh, dang it. That's right. Maybe I don't got this. Okay, listen up. I need everyone over here. Just a little higher. My arms can't go any higher. My muscles are soft. Oh, shut up. Guys, stop talking. Like a baby's bottom. Shut up. No! That's my face. I'm a very fat baby. Sorry. Hey, what do I know about whatever you are, anatomy? Maybe your people enjoy having their faces stepped on. It's done. That mean I can drop this thing? Freaking temples. I'm gonna take dynamite to all of them. Now it is truly time to decide. Turn the forge to the left to destroy it forever. Turn the forge to the right to empower it and bring it to its full potential. Wait, his right or your right? Oh. Hmm. I don't know. What? what? Let me see. Wow. I can't believe that almost happened. Turn it this way to destroy it. Turn it this- Yeah, we got it. Turn it to the right, Pete. It's left, Peter. You want your left. Peter, you must turn it left. No! It's right to empower you, idiot. Yes, go right, Peter. I am Groot! Destroying the Forge is the only way we can keep it from hurting people. Don't listen to her. Think of your mom. Think of Lila. I am Groot. I'm sorry. But if the Forge can bring back the people we love, it's worth any risk. As you wish, Celestial One. Don't let go. 
so much for guarding the galaxy. We are no better than Thanos. Don't bring your daddy issues into this. Pete did the right thing. Says the raccoon who has no Don't more call me a raccoon. I'm looking out for life. The process has begun. You can release it. After you murder someone to bring her back. Oh, you're going to give me crap about murdering someone? You worried I'll take your place as the galaxy's number one murderer? Rocket! I am Groot! It is over. We won. No, we just lost. How can neither of you see that? Guys, we got company! Thank you, Peter Quill. I never could have found this shrine without you. And the tracking device genes are placed on your ship. <laughs> you know, I didn't think you could get more annoying than that time you killed me. <laughs> you really suck. Sister? Nebula, what are you doing? Hala wants what I want. A second chance for the families we lost. And justice for those who hurt them. Besides, you made it very clear I wasn't wanted. Their usefulness has expired. Dispose of them. I can hate that thing. Oh, I've had about enough of this. God, boots are more busted than I thought. How you like me now, huh? <laughs> huh? No, 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 no! Oh, oh. Depths, blue demon. You want to make these idiots your family? You can die with them! You won't win. Watch me! Dude! Just let go! Stop the rodent! Big blue lady. Not the first time. Intriguing. Will you let me have a minute? Sheesh. Now. Where was I? Well, that was surprisingly easy. Hang on, buddy, I got you! to have made you sad. You 
want to keep fighting? Fine. I'll just keep winning. Again and again. Until all that's left of you is one tiny little piece. The only part of you that's actually worth something. I hate you! are fools. Come on, come on, come on! Work, damn it! So now Mantis is tagging along, but she's only creating more questions than answers. About the Eternity Forge, about Hala, about everything. Janitors of the galaxy, that's what we should be called. And Hala and the Kree, well, they're just the latest cosmic spill. I am Groot. I am... Root. Peter handed Hala everything that she wanted. Well, it seemed like a good idea. It did. It's what happened next that he should regret. <laughs> <laughs> 